one. Hello, my name is Jack. Uh, I am Jack Wells on Twitter. I am a blockchain entrepreneur. I've been doing meetups here in Lisbon, Portugal. And today we have a very special guest, um, Stacy from EOS Vegas. EOS Vegas, if you don't know, is the newest project in the EOS DAP ecosystem. It's quickly become one of the most popular applications, and in my opinion, one of the most interesting uh, applications on EOS. So Stacy, do you want to say a few words? Yeah. Hi, Jack. Nice to meet you. And I'm Daisy from the, my EOS Vegas. So our platform is a um, uh, fully trusted and the gambling ecosystem on EOS. So we are building the top cancel games on, uh, at the my EOS Vegas. So my EOS Vegas is an online casino on the EOS blockchain network. And we provide the instant gameplays banked a uh, trustworthy smart contract. And uh, more importantly, our MAP token is a smart contract uh, banked ecosystem where everyone can be an owner in this EOS online casino and uh, share the profit of the operation. And our MAP token holders will be rewarded uh, by two ways. One is the long-term dividend reward token way, and the other is the repurchase way. So for the dividend reward, uh, our tokens, uh, our token holders will be as a collective receive our sixteen percent of all the EOS house profit, and this amount of the rewards is available to each token holder is proportional to the amount of tokens they hold in relation to the total supply. Okay, so, okay, cool. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll get into a little away. bit of the uh, details later. I want to keep this more conversational because uh, I think, yeah. So like you say, no. uh, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. so this is kind of like similar to EOS Bet where, you know, as you interact with the application, you earn the tokens of the application and mm -hmm. you share the revenue f with uh, your token holders. Is that correct? Yes, but we also end another way that to uh, for our map token to repurchase on our website so they can get an instant EOS reward after they register their tokens on our website. So that's a um, difference uh, from the EOS bet. Ah, okay, okay. So uh, yeah, I'm reading your white paper, uh, your one page white paper, which I think, <laughs> I, I think is fantastic. I told you about it. Um, yeah. There's too many long white papers, uh, but you sure you, you say you're gonna have more details, more a more detailed white paper coming up. But I, I mm -hmm. do like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I guess it's like you say, 60% is um, return to token holders every season, and the other 40% is instant reward tokens. Yes. So you yes. will have to register on your website to get that 40%. Yeah. And uh, this. Uh, register windows will be open in the first seven days each season, so don't miss it. Oh, so every season you have to register? Yes. Uh, okay, I did not catch that. That's that's good to know. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. So cool. So I've been playing a game a little bit. Uh, again, I think it's a really fun game. Um, it's better than rolling dices all day. Uh, not that, not that there's <laughs> anything you. wrong with it, um, with rolling dices. I think the EOS bet guys are doing uh, great stuff also. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, so I just want to ask you a few questions about, you know, like transparency and having the smart contract and, you know, I see mm -hmm. that you guys have pl published the, um, the odds of the game somewhere here. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, statistics. Uh, yes. There you go. So, yeah. yeah, we have statistics and hand statistics. Mm -hmm. Let me just uh, yeah. widen this a little bit. Okay, so you guys actually have quite a bit of volume already considering your application is only a few. Uh, how long have you guys been uh, operating now? Uh, just about two or three weeks, no more three weeks. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Just that's uh, October first. Just uh, just three weeks, you said. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Just three weeks, and you guys already. Um, let's see. Users on your platform have already placed over forty thousand EOS, so approximately two hundred K and in USD, US dollars. That's crazy. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. That's that's a crazy yeah. amount of growth. Mm -hmm. So right, it's uh, still regarding transparency. Um, do you guys have your smart contract uh, published? Is there a way to find the contract? Uh, yeah, our con uh, smart contract is the EOS Vegas Jack, and we will be open source later. Maybe because uh, you know there are many copycats, mm -hmm. so we will, yeah. After we meet some requirements from our uh, investors, and we will consider to open our sources. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. So you guys haven't published it yet, but you do plan to open source your contract application once you go public. Is that correct? Yeah. Currently, uh, we don't open sources, but we'll, we will consider it later. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, one of the concerns in the space is, you know, copycats, like you said. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. how, how do you guys uh, aim to handle that? Like w once you release your uh, material and I think some people are gonna wanna see it uh, because you know they wanna make sure that you guys are transparent, the game's not rigged in your favor. So how do you guys, prov um, have you guys thought about uh, how okay. you're gonna deal with your competitor, copycat competitors? So you can see that on our website, we have a dashboard Mm -hmm. that there are the card statistics and the hand statistics mm -hmm. so you can know that every card the car uh, you can know the number of the uh, counts of the every card so it's kind of a um uh i mean the it's kind of a transparency for our players so okay. you can know that we don't cheat on the game and everything is a um, the cards, the uh, number of the number of the count of the cards. I'm sorry, <laughs> is okay. all the same. So, yeah. Okay. They, cool, cool. Uh, yeah. So it's so we can tell that the game is fair. So, and also you can see the hand statistics that mm -hmm. we also have the numbers of uh, each type, each hand type that uh, uh, those people get. Yeah, I'm looking so, at it. I'm looking at it right it, now. Uh, I'm looking at the website right now, and uh, I guess that that's very interesting. So you guys, even though you haven't published your smart contract, you are making the statistics transparent. Oh. Is it okay? I, I thought yeah. I have a little bit of music in the background, but maybe a little too extracting. Mm -hmm. uh, right. So, um, so these numbers, can I verify them on the blockchain? Uh, is that something if I uh, program a script to get all the transactions coming out of your smart contract and I tell them up tell you all the cars uh, being dealt it would be the same numbers yeah yeah okay okay that's a very interesting way of handling transparency without um, almost exposing your secret sauce that's very interesting uh -huh, thank you uh, so I hear from your accent that you might be from China is that correct uh, yes okay yes. cool uh, it's okay. Uh, I mean, I, I'm I was also born in China, so I'm Chinese too. Uh, ni hao. Uh, ni hao. <laughs> ni hao. Ni shi China li lai de. Ni shi ni men shi. Uh, that that sorry, my Chinese is not that great. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, English. yeah. So which which region are you guys from, or is that something you want to keep a little bit private right now? Uh, yeah. Actually, we want to keep it a little bit. Yeah, you know. Okay, for uh, sure, for sure. It is, it is a bit sensitive, and I, I have re uh, read that is online gambling is legal in China, so mm -hmm. that there's there's a good reason for you to keep your identities uh, safe, if you will. Yeah, it's a it's a challenge for us, uh, since you know that the gambling is sensitive in China. So, mm -hmm. uh, but you know that uh, it's actually. Uh, there are uh, more. Uh, there are many players that in our game is from Asia and such as the Korea, China. So, um, yeah. Okay, uh, interesting. Is is Korean is gambling illegal in Korea? I, I'm not sure okay. about it. Yeah, but okay. I think it's also sensitive in Korea too. Mm. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I mean, it is a pretty sensitive topic in most major countries, I think. So I wouldn't be surprised. 
Okay, interesting. You, so you mentioned that your user base is mostly Chinese and Korean. And how, uh, no, how did you figure the, that out? No, actually, the most of the players is from the uh, North American. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Cool. Um, but like, how, how do you guys uh, figure that out? Is this just by asking your players or um, like, how did you yeah, know? Well, we have some tools that we can yet yeah, uh, to see which region is uh, our players located at just the very wide regions such as the North American or Asian such kind of region. Oh, um, I guess that is like the transaction going through the different nodes because you, uh, you guys have to run your nodes in different regions and different regions players probably want to connect to the most, uh, the node that's closest to them. And I guess you could gather a bit of information from that. Uh, I'm just speculating. Um, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, in order to you know that there are different players. Some players also talk, uh, talking with me in Korea or Chinese. Okay. So uh, Chinese is fine, but Korean. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't speak Korean. So, in order to provide their uh, better service, so we actually so develop the. Uh, a Bassenden program so you can know that in our telegram so yeah we are developing the Bassenden program so that we can um, uh, help these players to know more about our ecosystem to know about the uh, games and help them to uh, to play the game because you know um, some people don't know how to play the game mm -hmm. at the I I had a bit of trouble understanding the game at first. I must, <laughs> I must admit. Uh, yeah. What we want to do to help mm. them to know uh, this game, to mm. you know, to clarify the game rules, so that they can simply to know how to play it. Well, I think one thing would be very helpful. And I, I was chatting with another individual playing the game. He was very upset that the uh, jacks are higher. Uh, mm -hmm. The S in the jacks is missing so he thought that if he had any card that was jack or better he would get the reward and he was very upset that um that the uh, that he didn't <laughs> so i had to explain to him yeah. that there was a there's, there's you had to get a pair of jacks or yeah yeah thanks for your explanation yeah i saw that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no worries no worries i mean again i think i think the concept of the game and the gameplay is very very good i do think the ui could use a bit of work and I mentioned that a little bit in the chat yesterday. Uh, it looks like, um, let me see, let me see if you got, did you guys fix that? You guys added the S back and... Uh, okay. Yeah, our, I think our engineer is already fixed it. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, okay, it looks like, yeah, 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 okay, cool. So, you know, just the kinks to figure, uh, to, you know, UI could be a lot better. Um, you know, having the glowing borders on things you click on, I think would be great help because I was through, everything just looks flat. So I had, I, I kind of had no idea what, where I was, where I was supposed to click and what is click clickable and not clickable. So, mm -hmm. uh, other than that, um, let me see what else that I want to ask. Right. You had, you say you guys, uh, had investors. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Not specifically uh, who investor? your investors or yeah. Um, so, uh, our investor, uh, actually, um, I need to <laughs> ask our pro manager that's whether I, I need to, yeah, share this information. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't asking if for specific names of investors, but just kind of, uh, does your investors have backgrounds in online gambling? Is that something they have, uh, helped invested before? Are, are they just providing capital for you guys to develop a project or, uh, yeah, I just want to see if, um, you guys have extra resources from the investors. Uh, okay. So, uh, our investor will provide the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the money support for us. And they also have the interest in crypto, uh, field. So they will invest us. So that's the reason, and uh, they say uh, they saw our potential to grow more. Uh, you know that we can do great, do better, and uh, to become the 
first uh, casino gambling game on the ecosystem mm -hmm. uh, on the first block, uh, blockchain. I mean, so our, actually right now our uh, institutional uh, holds our 40% of MAP token. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's our big investor and uh, uh, we also provide our private private investor uh ten percent map token. So anyone who is a personal investor or a organizational investor, we are mm. welcome to yeah join us. Okay, so for the private investor uh, part, how how would that mm. work? Let's say I'm an individual who wants to in invest. Is there just gonna be a like a it's almost like a ICO or would I have to just reach out to you individually and participate in that way? Yeah, and they can contact us directly mm -hmm. through any way such as the Twitter, Telegram or any channel that's on our website and, and we will talk with them directly. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so I'm, I, Okay, on the token part, since we're talking about it, I'm just a little bit confused. It says here you have 1 billion tokens, um, yeah. and AV tokens. So the tokens I'm getting now, what's that part of? That's part of the airdrop tokens? The airdrop token to the public is 20%. So uh, what you are getting, such as the science bonus, we will give the science bonus 100, uh, 10, 100 I mean, one hundred, yeah, one hundred map token for the sign up bonus, and uh, yeah, it's part of the airdrop to the public token. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, okay, maybe. And I'm the not, other, sorry, go yeah, on. and you mean the um, a best program or other tokens that, yeah, it's uh, it will uh, categorize the to the marketing or operation mm -hmm. part. Yeah, it uh, depends on the, yeah. So, uh, sorry, maybe my question is not um, clear enough. I was just wondering, because I already have some tokens just from playing the game, mm -hmm. right? So w when I'm getting that token from the game, uh, I have about 25 MEV tokens right now. So, okay. that, so that 25 MEV token, where is that coming out of from that hundred, uh, 1 billion MEV tokens? Um, you mean which part is your token belongs to? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you say 40% uh, of in institutional investors have, you know, they have 40% of the 1 billion token, 10% goes to private investors. So half the investors, 20% to public, 5% to marketing, 5% operation, 20% team. So as I'm playing the game, as a user of the platform, I'm getting these MEV tokens. Is that extra tokens on top of the 1 billion or is that coming out from the public um, airdrop tokens? Uh, this is the part of the airdrop to the public token, uh, to the public tokens. Okay, so, so as, uh, as, as I'm playing the game, actually, I'm getting part of the airdrop. Uh-huh. So uh, if you mean that uh, you will be rewarded from uh, by the dependent or from the repurchasing one, so the dependent one is that the reward amount that you will get is the proportional of the amount uh the tokens you hold you, you said that 25 right mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. yeah so the it is the 25 in relation to the total supply which is the 1 billion so okay okay that's the dependent one and the for the repurchase one is also uh it's also the amount that uh, the amount uh, you register your token on our website. So maybe you can register 25 uh, in the first seven days each season on our website. And the, the reward you will get is that, um, well, let me see. So it depends on the our house profit and the total numbers uh, registered at that season. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so 
uh, every every season's one month. So in one year, there's twelve seasons, twelve seasons, and mm-hmm. every first week of every month, you had to register your tokens. Yes, Is that correct. Um, you don't need you don't have to do it uh mm-hmm. you can do it but mm-hmm. it is not a um, a must way that you have to do it so uh, you can just hold your token for the long-term dividend mm-hmm. or you you can register your token on the website for an instant token uh, repurchase so uh just make sure that you know that every token holders only have one chance to register their token on our website uh, each season. Okay, so ideally, I would probably want to register at the end of the month, right? Do you want to have yeah. the most tokens? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, okay. Interesting. Uh, okay, so a few more questions and I won't keep you too long. Um, how do you guys plan to onboard users? Because not everyone really have a EOS account. Um, you know, obviously, I guess you're initially just trying to attract people who already have EOS accounts, but do you guys have some kind of plan to expand to, you know, offer accounts to people who want to play the game but doesn't have EOS accounts just yet? Uh, okay. Uh, so you mean uh, some users want to play the game but they don't want they don't have the EOS account? Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> okay. So maybe we can create an EOS account for them. Yeah, our team will consider that. Yeah, we'll, we will consider that option. Okay, cool. I mean, if, yeah, if they are interested in playing the game, we definitely would like to do that. Okay, cool. Well, I'm actually working with another individual that has an account creation service, and he creates an account through Coinbase. <clears throat> so I'm not, and I'm guessing most of your customers are North American, so I think they really use that service. So if you're interested, mm-hmm. I could put you in touch with him and maybe you guys go work out some kind of partnership. I think that'd be beneficial for both of you uh, to expand, you know. Great. Yeah, so I think that would mm-hmm. be that would be a good collaboration. Um, mm-hmm. And one yeah. last question before we go. Do you guys plan to go mobile? Because, you know, um, I know the... Yeah, inter- okay, go are ahead. available on mobile. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, we operate with the Meet One wallet and the, some other wallet. Yeah, we are already available ah, on mobile. Okay, well, mm-hmm. I, I haven't shown my Meet One wallet, but let me, uh, I'll definitely check that out. Because, um, mm-hmm. yeah, I think uh, going mobile is probably the best thing to do. You have, you know, I can imagine myself playing a few games while I'm waiting for the bus or something. I yeah, get... that's, yeah, great. Good point. Okay, cool. So uh, that's all the question I have. Do you have anything you want to say to uh, the people who are listening before we uh, take off? Uh, okay. Maybe talk about I'm the promotion. I'm a little bit nervous. A little bit During nervous. this record. Yeah. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. You did fine. You did great. Um, yeah, maybe tell a little bit about the promotion you guys have coming up. I know you guys have a promotion right now. So for yeah. you guys who are listening, they have an ongoing promotion from the 19th to the 21st of October, where it doesn't matter yeah. how much you're betting, as long as you get four of a kind, you get rewarded with one EOS. So that's the promotion right now. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. We also have more exciting events the next few, uh, the next following weeks. So keep tuned. <laughs> okay, cool. Perfect. I'll... I'm excited to hear from you guys, and maybe when that promotion comes on, we could do another mm-hmm. quick chat. And uh, yeah, sounds mm-hmm. good. Yeah, thank you, Jack. Okay, thank you very much, Stacy, and I'll catch mm-hmm. you next time. Bye bye. Okay, okay, thank you. Nice time.